In this video we will see the difference between a simple HSP and a better RSAP Bluetooth connection between a Samsung Galaxy S5 Duos and a Volkswagen 9ZZ Premium Bluetooth Module, part number 3C803573OD. Before we start, you need to know that the Volkswagen 9ZZ Bluetooth Module is the newest version and has great features. One of them is the wireless internet hotspot that can be created in your car by using your mobile data plan. You can also have your phone book, call logs text messages, all on your dashboard. The benefit of having a wireless internet hotspot is that you can get internet access on multiple devices in your car, all of them connected to the 9ZZ Bluetooth module but also you could save more battery life on your phone. Having a RSAP Bluetooth connection is essential to get all those features from your Volkswagen 9ZZ Bluetooth module. The problem is that the big manufacturers don't bother to activate this RSAP profile in our smartphones. So we have to find a solution. If you are using an ordinary phone and not a Samsung Galaxy S5 you have good chances to not have this RSAP issue. So, the purpose in this video is to establish a RSAP connection between a Samsung Galaxy S5 Duos and the Volkswagen 9ZZ Bluetooth module. iPhone users, sorry, but your smartphones will not support the RSAP connection and you have to switch to Android. So, let's start. First. I will show you what you get on your dashboard when you establish a default and simple HSP Bluetooth connection. Let's activate the Bluetooth. After we start the car, the HSP Bluetooth connection will be established automatically with our paired phone. Let's see which options are available on the dashboard when using this HSP default Bluetooth connection. As you can see, we have no SMS or wireless internet options. Now, we will try to establish a RSAP Bluetooth connection using the RSAP app from Google Play Store. Restart the car. Using this application the phone will try to establish a RSAP connection with the car. As you can see, the remote SIM access is now active on the phone. After we establish a RSAP connection, we get more features from the Bluetooth module. SMS and wireless internet are now available on the dashboard. We will now connect to the wireless internet hotspot created by the Bluetooth module. Connected. We will test the connection to see if it works. The SMS feature is also available on the dashboard.
we can use the RNS510 as well to control the phone. We can initiate or accept calls. Thank you for watching. If you know a better way to establish a RSAP Bluetooth connection between these two devices, please leave a comment. Thank you.